The T-38 Talon prototype embarked on its maiden flight as the U.S. Air Force's supersonic trainer on April 10, 1959. Serving critical missions for six decades, the T-38 has consistently performed and has assisted in flight training exercises for 80,000 pilots. And with various modernizations, the aircraft has maintained low, low operating costs, is maintenance friendly, and has a great safety record. One of the safest supersonic airplanes ever built, the twin-engine high-altitude jet trainer can fly at a maximum speed of 858 miles per hour and, climb, and can climb from sea level to 33,600 feet in 60 seconds. Out of the 1,187 aircraft produced between 1959 and 1972, half are still in use today. The T-38 has been used for over half a century, mainly by the U.S. Air Force for specialized undergraduate pilot training. In addition, Air Combat Command uses the jet as a companion training for their B-52, TR-1, and F-22 pilots. The U.S. Navy and NASA also use the T-38 for flight test and research missions. Earlier this month, Northrop Grumman celebrated the 60th anniversary of the T-38 Talon's first flight with the U.S. Air Force at an event hosted by the Air Education and Training Command at Randolph Air Force Base, Texas. Major General Patrick Doherty, 19th Air Force commander stated this aircraft will always be remembered in our Air Force and in our nation as being one of excellence that has produced the number one Air Force in the world.
This is going to be one of those moments that you look back on your career and it's something that's really exciting and something you'll definitely remember, tell your kids and your grandkids about. This is a sort of year for sure for me. Um, to get to be a part of this experience, for you guys to cover it in this manner, uh, absolutely just fantastic and a career high for me at this point. It was a professional experience through and through and, and something I never expected to do again in my life. Uh, I got a uh, phone call from uh, Lieutenant Colonel Cook uh, asking about uh, a specific aircraft that we had uh, in our fleet out here and he asked me if we had it. Uh, and we do, we got Aircraft 177, which was the aircraft that he flew while he was a member of the Thunderbirds in the early 80s. I flew uh, the, with the Thunderbirds from 79 to 82 in the T-38s. Uh, Colonel McCurdy contacted me and said there was some interest in getting to fly, which was not even a, um, believable almost to me because when you're a fighter pilot, the only place you can fly a fighter airplane is the military. When you step out of your airplane for the last time, uh, you think, I'll never do this again. It's the 70th anniversary, you know, and, and that's a big thing for us, and uh, is celebrating the history of the United States Air Force. So we're looking for opportunities to capitalize on historical events and historical things uh, that we can push out to the public to tell our story, uh, which is ultimately what air shows are all about. For 35 years, I haven't, hadn't seen it, and now to fly in it is unbelievable. The flight today with Dale Cook was a dream come true for me. Um, you know, our job on the Thunderbirds is to inspire, uh, inspire the next generation of airmen. And uh, I'm that next generation of airmen to Dale, right? So to bring this kind of full circle and now have the current slot pilot flying with Dale um, was incredible and extremely meaningful for me. It's just, I mean, it's an unbelievable experience. It just puts you on this high you can't really even believe. And then today to go out and, and get in the slot machine one more time. Gosh. The Air Force's 70th anniversary breaking barriers. Uh, Dale is breaking barriers, the fact that he can still do something like that. And then the fact that we get to honor, you know, the legacy of the Thunderbirds that have come before us. It's, it's, it's a dream. And um, it's something that no fighter pilot ever expects to do, particularly after 30 some years to get to go do that and I, I'm, I'm just grateful beyond words.